Unit 3, Lesson 3, Measuring with Different Sized Units. Number 1. Decide if each is a measurement of length, area, volume, or weight. A. How many centimeters across a handprint? That would be length. B. How many square inches of paper needed to wrap a box? That would be area. C. How many gallons of water in a fish tank? That would be volume. D. How many pounds in a bag of potatoes? That would be weight. E. How many feet across a swimming pool? That would be length. F. How many ounces in a bag of grapes? That would be weight. G. How many liters in a punch bowl? That would be volume. H. How many square feet of grass in a lawn? That would be area. Number two. Claire says, This classroom is 11 meters long. A meter is longer than a yard, so if I measure the length of this classroom in yards, I will get less than 11 yards. Do you agree with Claire? Explain your reasoning. She is incorrect. She is incorrect. More yards are needed to measure the same length since yards are shorter than meters. Number three, Tyler's height is 57 inches. What could be his height in centimeters? Explain your reasoning. Of these choices, which one would be the best answer? There are about two and a half centimeters for every inch. So 57 is almost 60. So 60 times two and a half would be 120 plus half of 60. So that's 150. I got the 120 by multiplying 60 times 2. And then I got the 30 by multiplying 60 times 0.5. So we're looking for the answer that's closest to 150. And in fact, since I rounded up, instead of it being 57, I rounded it up to 60. So this answer, 150, should be a little bit bigger than the correct answer. So when I look here at C, 144.8, that's the one that's closest to 150. And in fact, C is just a little bit smaller and that's what I would have expected. So I'm gonna go with C. 144.8 centimeters is about the same as 57 inches. Number four, a large soup pot holds 20 quarts. What could be its volume in liters? One liter is slightly larger than a quart, so it would take slightly fewer liters than quarts to measure the same volume. So I'm looking for something that's slightly smaller than 20 quarts. And B, 19 is slightly smaller than 20 quarts. So 19 liters would be just about the same as 20 quarts. Number five, Claire wants to mail a package that weighs four and a half pounds. What could this weight be in kilograms? One kilogram weighs more than one pound. So it takes fewer kilograms than pounds to measure Claire's package. All the choices are greater than four and a half except for one. Kilograms are larger than pounds, so it's gonna take fewer kilograms. So there's only one answer there, and that's A, 2.04, or two and four hundredths. Number six, Noah bought 15 baseball cards for $9. Assuming each baseball card costs the same amount, answer the following questions. A, at this rate, how much will 30 baseball cards cost? Well, 30 is twice as many as 15. So if I'm multiplying 15 by two to get 30, then I'd have to multiply nine times two, and that would give me 18. So I'm gonna go with $18 for 30, and my reasoning would be 
double, 15 cards. It's going to be double the cost of 15 cards. B. At this rate, how much will 12 baseball cards cost? Explain your reasoning. So I've broken this up into five sections and I'm going to say that this represents $18 and it represents 30 cards. So 30 cards divided by five is going to put six cards inside each one. We'll put the dollar amount inside here. I've figured out that 30 baseball cards cost $18. 18 divided by five. 18 divided by 10 is gonna be $1.80. So 18 divided by five should be twice as big as $1.80. What is that, 360? $3.60. So $18 divided by five is $3.60. So this chart shows me that six cards cost $3.60. Six plus six is 12. So 12 cards would cost $3.60 plus $3.60. And that's $7.20. 12 cards should cost $7.20. C. Do you think this information would be better represented using a table or a double number line? Explain your reasoning. Table might be more convenient. There's more than one right answer. It's, it's up to you, whichever you prefer. Number seven, Jada traveled 135 miles in three hours. Andre traveled 228 miles in six hours. Both Jada and Andre traveled at a constant speed. A, how far did Jada travel in one hour? To figure that out, we have to do 135 divided by three. Jada traveled 45 miles in one hour. How far did Andre travel in one hour? Andre traveled 38 miles in one hour. Who traveled faster? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, if Jada traveled 45 miles in one hour and Andre only traveled 38 miles in one hour, Jada traveled faster. Jada traveled faster because he went a further distance in one hour. He traveled a further distance during the same amount of time. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 3, Lesson 3, measuring with different sized units.